Here we are on location in the Kalahari Desert. Because we have limited crew, Sergei would have to push record on the camera and then run round and get into the shot. And I would use my megaphone to shout at him. This is where we shot the long walk across the dunes. Sergei lost three claws in the clapboard that day. <laughs> Here is Orlov Family Museum filled with the priceless artifacts from my ancestors' great journey of courageousness. It is fit with burglar alarm, so if any mongoose are think of break in, ha, forget about it. Here are some juicy grab tins from the old days. Tins like these used to line the shelves of my family's barrow in Kalahari. But the terrible grab famine made them almost impossible to get. These tins are empty, but if you lick the inside, you still get the tangy taste of grub and rust. This is jar of real Kalahari desert sand. My ancestors carry it all the way from their home as memento. Sometimes, when I'm feeling the whimsy, I like to take off lead and breathe deeply. There is something magical about that sand. It is also work as pretty decent exfoliator. Here is priceless exact model replica of ship my ancestors used to sail across the oceans. Sometimes I pop it into jacuzzi bath and turn on the bubbles and pretend this big storm. Here is map that was used to navigate from Kalahari Desert to plentiful paradise of Bermuda. Unfortunate, map was mostly guesswork and doodles, which is probable why my ancestors end up in Russia. This does not feature in film, but after my ancestors arrive in Russia, they then had to make perilsome journey across the Ural Mountains, before settling in the little village of Moscow. These are special shoes they use to stop paws from sink into snow. Sergei and I sometimes use them for badminton. This is maybe the jewel in the crown of collection. Very first ever Orlov family cravat. My great 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 great, I don't know how many greats, granddaddy found it on the shores of Russia and used it to keep his neck nice and toasty. Ever since then, the Orlovs have worn the cravat. And you thought it was just to being stylish.